What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Martindale. And this week's guest, I'm so excited, all the way from New York, the hit phenomenal podcast, guys, we f***ed. Oh my gosh, we have uh, Corinne Fisher and Christina Hutchinson with us today. Ladies, welcome. Hello. All Hi. the way from the East Coast. How, how has everything been for you guys? You've, how has LA been treating you? <laughs> well, okay. there, like, we, I found, we found like the mascot of LA's vibe was uh, taped to a light pole outside of the comedy store in the form of an email. Um, did you see that? I, Some I mean, woman hung out with Adam Sandler after a show and then wrote a long email about it and decided to print that email out and she taped it on the light <laughs> post and I go to Corinne, that's LA. You gotta that's read LA. it. That's yeah. LA. Are, are there tabs where you can pull to no. call? No. no, she just wanted you to read her printed out email. Yeah. Dream there's... big, guys. That's yeah. beautiful. It always reminds me of that scene in Pretty Woman. It's like, welcome to Hollywood. What's your dream? Yeah. Like, that's really it. That's yeah. LA. I mean, LA can go from, you know, beautiful sunsets that people take pictures of yeah. and post them. <laughs> mm. And it can also go to like just the most booger Minnie Mouse on yeah. Hollywood Boulevard with the head off in yeah. front of children smoking. Yeah. It could be meth. Right. We don't know. We don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Call Pookie. Mm -hmm. Or tourists on Hollywood Boulevard mm -hmm. taking a Pookie in an alley. <laughs> right. Yeah. Take that Pookie, girl. Yeah. 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 So how has uh, the show's been? I mean, you did your your podcast live here at the yeah. Comedy Store. Valentine's yeah. Day, most book day for the guys we fuck girls. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How did that go? I actually Sold out by. the main room. Good. Uh, yeah. it was a, it's a really fun show. It's interactive. So we mm -hmm. basically treat the audience like they're a podcast guest the whole show. So we have them up on stage telling us their secrets. We prank call people. Yeah. It was fun. But I got to say, We've done. We've toured with the show for years all over the globe. <laughs> L.A. is special. It is. It is specific. Yeah. L.A. You take your time getting up to the stage. Oh my god! You take your time telling the story. Oh yes. Oh boy! A lot of details that don't well, you matter. Wanna, you want to elongate the story uh -huh. so you get more stage time. Yeah. Yeah. Because yes. like, this is my moment. Oh, yeah. everyone's auditioning at oh. every moment. Yeah. yeah. It was crazy. Someone sat on my chair with me, and I wrote. <laughs> it was scary. I wrote I was help on my phone, and I was I showed it to the audience. Audience yeah. because I was like, is anyone watching? She here? wasn't listening to us, and she yeah. wasn't wearing a bra, but in like a, like a way that, you know, like when you don't wear a bra and it's fashion. Like Do I've I? seen that, <laughs> you know. But like sometimes you don't wear a bra and you're like, you okay, girl? Uh huh. You know. And yeah. um, it was like it was one of those vibes. Um, and then we like we have a prank call thing where we're like, don't we don't want to prank anybody who's threatened to kill you. And like two women <laughs> got on stage yeah. and they both were like, this guy, I have a restraining order because he tried to kill me. Let's we're like, prank what did him. we just say? What could go wrong? Yeah. She's like, he, he's not going to kill me. I have a restraining order. I'm like, that's a wish. Yeah. A restraining order. Yeah. Why tempt fate, girl? Yeah. I know. And she wanted to. I don't she know what really she's like. I, I was like, I don't know what you think a restraining order is, but I was like, it's just like in a, a concept. It's, yeah. a, it's yeah. a fingers crossed. It's not a guy who is going to be like, move away. Yeah. Well, I feel feel like also in LA if anything happens to that person yeah. then they get on the news and get the publicity they've always wanted oh so you know okay, what i the mean the motives it's, are clear now our mental illness in this town is probably different than new york yes you know it's more sellable here it's yeah. more sellable <laughs> yeah. more on more brand romantic. yeah well, okay. it's more of a vibe <laughs> it's more of a vibe you know than what a mean? mental disorder it's actually like mm. are you insane but like what are you giving right yeah. you know right, what i mean right it's giving crazy it's and we're giving loving crazy it. but like in a cool way <laughs> yeah i mean that's what it is like, like, if you saw someone just uh, nutting outside of an air wine, you're like, same. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas, like, in New York, you're just like, okay, just let's yeah. keep right. walking. Get out yeah, of my yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. gotta go to work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for... Fitting us into your whirlwind of a uh, oh, weekend. No problem. When do you guys pleasure. head back? Tomorrow? Sunday, Sunday morning. morning. Sunday morning. Okay, yeah. well, yeah. You actually are going to get out of here before we get... What's that, you guys? Seven more days of rain. Oh, oh cute. Oh, yeah. yeah. But like ours, it's it's pretty gross. It was flooding, right? I mean, it was, it pretty, was yeah. yeah. It was flooding pretty bad. And then we got some sun. And then now it's on it top rain. of the, the mental illness of LA. Yeah. You it's add rain now. to it. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just a whole nother beast. Because <laughs> everyone's just like, I'd like to text and drive even in the rain. And you're right. like, oh, no. Cool. It's literally our restraining order against ourselves. Wow. The rain. Yeah. Wow. But it was Valentine's Day. So I wanted to talk some relationships. You guys talk about relationships we, on your podcast. We do. I wanted to talk about, um, this article came out and they compared the differences between dating in LA and dating in New York. Okay. 
Um, are you guys in relationships? I'm not. I, I know. am. You are. Yes. How long? Uh, oh God. Oh God. <laughs> toxic for so long that I forget when we started, but probably about like two and a half, three years. Okay. Yeah. 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 I've been in mine for two and a half so nice. far. Yes. And you're single mm -hmm. AF. No, not single AF. I'm single by by choice. Please stop calling me. Please get away from me. You're just done. Yeah, we, not in a, and not in a like a oh I'm sad way. No. I, in a like this is just better for me how I like to live. And I'm happier. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is also a tase gun, and I will use it at all times. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm just not. Mm -mm. I, no. Then be no one really tripping. adds anything to my life. I've never been in a relationship and been like this is better. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. This is it for me. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, well, here's a little thing, and they're comparing LA versus New York. And this is uh, the first one is first dates, and agree to disagree, whatever. In New York, a first date is like a job interview. Oh, yeah. What do you do for work? Where are you from? What part of town do you live in? What's your five year plan? In LA, a first date is like freshman year college orientation. You're from the East Coast. Me too. We should be friends. Yeah. Everyone's so happy here. It's weird. Really? Well, they're like they have like glass half full which is usually my mentality too, but it's also like, what do you have to offer? Mm -hmm. That's what New Yorkers want to know. Like, what do you got for me? I will say I like this approach of the New York mentality on a first date because I feel like in LA, people are already just like, say we're on a date, we're on a date. Uh -huh. It's like, whatever you're saying, I feel like people in LA are like, okay, either A, how can I fix this? Um, or B, I'm already leveling up thinking of the next person. <laughs> totally. Oh, yeah. Almost like an audition. Yeah. You're like, mm hmm Or like, say you're telling me a story like, oh, you know, I was really close with my grandmother or da da da, da. We're already processing that, but we, we're not really listening. So right. people are like, that's crazy. Wow. And you're like, I'm talking about my grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. She died three years ago. Oh my God. Hilarious. <laughs> oh. Like, it's just, we don't know how to process things. Okay. So don't that, know how to process them or are unwilling? <laughs> refusing to. There Both. we go. Yeah. I think that's, and that's why people are like, oh my God, I went on this date. How was it? It was really good. Are you going to see him again? No. Mm. Why? I yeah. just, I, uh, you know. There's something better out there for mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tinder profiles. In New York, women list the places they've previously lived. Example one, Emily, she's 27, originally from New Jersey, went to school in Indiana, been in New York City for four years, and so forth and so mm, forth. Yes, in LA, yes. women self-promote their social media accounts Ooh. and plug their personal websites and have very impressive quote, quote, followers to quote, quote, following ratios on Instagram, God. thanks to random Tinder dudes. Oh, so. that's a good way to promote. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shit, I'm going to do that. Yeah, we're not really super impressed by followers in New York City. It's very much more about like, can you make people laugh? Or like, are you creating something? Are mm -hmm. you doing something good for the world? I've ne I've never once brought my social media up Into a, a dating. Date. Yeah, that's Ever. the last thing I would do. And also guys, like in the heterosexual world, guys don't like that in New York. Like if you're have a sex, like successful and like have a following, they don't like it. They like you to be successful in a way that is controllable. Quiet. Like having a nice big Etsy shop. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Can candle yeah. porn biz. <laughs> yeah. Like, do you hand pour candles in the Wood house where I can keep an eye on you? I oh, love that. Do you live like an 18th century, like, yeah. Handmaid's Tale gal? Yes. <laughs> yeah. They, lo they love to say that they love like a self-starter and a businesswoman, mm. but like something that is not going to ever be bigger than what they're cooking up. Yeah. Artisanal wax yeah. <laughs> or something mm -hmm. like that. They You're love like, mm -hmm. jewelry, artisanal wax, <laughs> uh, starting your own like yoga a studio, those are kind oh, of yeah. things that men love. If they they love a woman into fitness, oh, there's nothing Here. in that for them. I feel wow. like even in the like in the gay world, if you're on like a uh, on an Instagram or whatever, yeah, the thing that I look at is I immediately go to the link tree. Oh, okay. The the link. Yep. Because yeah. I'm like, okay, we've we got? got this Amazon wish list. Oh. Am I supposed to send gifts? Am I your da daddy? No. And then it's always. Only fans. Yeah. Uh, and okay. then, you know, exclusive content. I'm like, oh, this is it. Got it, yeah, got it, got yeah, it, got yeah. it, got it. Which, go for it. Yeah. Sure. But also, you can't be like, why am I single? Right. Why is no one want? Like, because no one wants to just send you gifts on your Amazon wish list. Yeah. But then yeah. I'm like, should I start an Amazon wish list? I know. I know. Every time I see a, a girl with an Amazon wish list, I go, oh, that actually feels like a good idea. Because it feels Cause different than money. <laughs> right. And then you get presents acceptable. and you never know when you're going to get them. Yeah. And you don't know those people. Yeah, that's. Fun. <laughs> That's weird too. That is weird though. And you yeah. clearly have to have a P.O. box. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, just, I, Amazon I wish list, it just sends it to you and your address is masked. So you don't. That's why people do an Amazon wish list. Because it's like the same as a wedding registry. Like you, oh. you, people aren't getting your address. Amazon just sends it to you. Good to know. Mm-hmm. Well, this, one, this one I'm actually going to fight on because the first date plans in New York, you meet for drinks or dinner at a bar or restaurant. In LA, you hike Runyon, play mini golf, or explore the Magic Castle. Okay. That is some like fairy tale bullshit. Okay. First of all, I don't like the words Runyon, mini golf, and Magic Castle all in the same. First of all, we don't Three have different mini golf people? here. Oh. Show me mini golf. Yeah, right. We don't have mini golf. Oh. Oh. We, we don't have mini golf. I would like mini I was golf. Say, that's sad. I wish you did. I wish we did. New York like even has it. We have mini an indoor golf one. Fun. See, that's fun. We don't have like putt putt or anything like oh, that. that I would love like oh. a themed mini golf course. Yeah. Hike Runyon. Ugh. Yeah. If you're ladies, if you're getting asked out to go on a hike, well, hike a cliff with a guy you don't know. Oh, that feels like nah. a murder. No, thank oh, you. Hide an air tag between your butt cheeks. <laughs> Share your location. It's a great yeah. hiding spot for an air attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? It's a He's good... not going to check the cheeks. Yeah. Check the taint, ladies. Um, but I do feel like if you are getting asked on a hike on a first date, like it's adventurous, but it's also like. I don't want to like be like gross and sweaty and nasty. Like, yeah. Yeah. And Magic Castle, relax. What is Magic Castle? I'm so glad you asked. Magic Castle <laughs> is the comedy store for magicians. <laughs> oh. I've been there. Harrison gave me a, an in. Actually, I love the Magic Wait, Castle. My friend, I yeah, love it. Comics perform there, or is it just magicians? No, that's the comedy and ma- ma- that's a different com- space. Okay. The There's com- one yeah. place called the Comedy and Magic. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's they have to do like clean. The Magic okay. Castle, you have to get an actual invitation from a magician. Yes. Whoa. It's super magical. And you have to dress up. There's a dress code. Wait, that's there is a fun. dress code. I went with Jonesy. It was incredible. That sounds fucking and fun. And there's like a restaurant to the side, yeah. which is really expensive, yeah. but yeah. it's like good. Uh-huh. Okay. And then you get to see a show and wow. they are like interactive. and That's yeah. all mentalists there. A mentalist team, husband and wife. Ooh. Oh, I bet that's sexy. I really fun. liked it. But I feel like if you're going to go see a show, like if you're going to spend some money on a date. Oh, that's Magic too much for, has, a that's first way for a first date. That's a first crazy date. first Wait, date. Also, you can't talk to the person. Like, yeah. what, there's magic happening. Yeah, no, that's a that's a expensive and also too dressy of mm-hmm. a first date. It's And you're going to spend a lot of time with someone. Like, no, that's too much. Mm-hmm. I went with someone I've known for a very long time to the Magic Castle. I mean, if you, it, it's kind of like it says like different rooms and stuff and yeah. things turn around. And oh, I'm that's like, just, cool. But I'm also like, just go get drunk at Hogwarts at Universal Studios like a normal Ooh, person. Oh, that sounds fun. That's, oh, that's legit. Go that's, sit in the Boar's Head or whatever it's oh, called. Yeah, that's so Drink some fun. like Renaissance Fair wine and yeah. yell at children. Butterbeer. It is so much fun. <laughs> It is like that's a day. I love rides. Yes, yeah, oh, I that. love a rides. Theme park, I think, would be a good one. They make yeah. me horny, like like a really? roller coaster. Yeah, because it's like risky. So yeah. you like roller coasters? Yeah, I love roller. I pass out on them, but I love them. Are you one of those girls on I black camera out. where they're like, ah, yeah, and, they, and like a tit falls out, and they like pass out. <laughs> and Maybe they... a tit fall out. <laughs> yeah, there have been there have been a couple of pictures of me just going. On like the roller that, coaster. And I go right back. I come right back. That's so weird. It's so weird. Yeah. I've always wanted to meet someone like I, you. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm talking about? My boyfriend and I went to a theme park together for the first time this past fall. Um, was it uh, Six Flags mm-hmm. Halloween, The when it's open for Halloween? Love theme parks in the fall. Scarefest or whatever. Fright Fe- Fest. Fear Fest. Fear Fest. Fear Fest. Yeah. Or, so, or for, maybe it's, it's Fright Fest. Fest. Yeah. Yeah, Fright Fest. And, Scarefest. Whatever. And we <laughs> both got to know each other's roller coaster like habits. I was like, heads up, I pass out. And I didn't know this, but he just yells, we. Like, wee! Like a kid, and it's so like, cute. Like the little pig the in the time, Geico like, commercial? Wee! And I'm like, huh? Uh, uh, uh. Like, it's so funny. Is it only on the drop you pass out? Uh, if we go upside down or if it's like the turn. So it's like when my it's like when my brain goes to the back of my skull. It just my vision. <laughs> so my eyes are fully open, but they go black. It's wild. Wow. And it's only for like four seconds about, like, but my eyes are open and I can't see. <laughs> Oh it's creepy. I just want to like a GoPro on you yeah. during a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. Because I just see those videos of like the boomerang, the slingshot videos. Where they're, oh, yeah. And one those of my are favorites. so funny. There's a favorite one of mine. It's this little, it's this little big kid. He looks like Augustus <laughs> from Willy Wonka. Aww. And his aunt Augustus. Janice is next to him. And she clearly does not like him. Like she's just Aww. taking him for the Damn. ride. <laughs> And they slingshot him, and he's not buckled in correctly. No. And he's, like, falling out, and he's like, Janice! Janice, help! Janice! And she is just looking at this kid going, ah! Watching him fall out. 
the harness is around his neck. He's like, it hurts. It hurts, Jace. And she is just cackling at this Damn. poor child. It's amazing. Just Google it. It's ama- it's one of my favorite videos of all time. <laughs> she was so happy that somebody else just fucked up. Just so happy. Up, yeah. yeah, she's like, ah. <laughs> it's a secret that was That's supposed awful. to go to the grave, but it's on camera now. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where that kid so is now. Funny. All right, let's get into some fun <laughs> topics. I feel like I New we're York. Call them. <laughs> I feel like New York is better at dating yes. than LA for sure. I mean, mm. they're both kind of trash, but and then there's, there's separate ways. And there's like stuff to do there. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot of I stuff. find out like there's people that you can tr- trust, mm-hmm. don't have you know an ulterior motive. Mm-hmm. Where here, I, I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, I don't know if I could ever trust that someone would not just be like trying to use you as a stepping stone here if you have any kind of following or any kind of clout. Yeah, have you experienced that as a um, LA person with a following clout? Actually, yes. I have I have dated somebody who was like, Yeah. Oh, I'm getting into stand up oh, as well. No. And I'm like, oh, no. That's Bye. the worst sentence someone can say to you. Actually, it's a really kind of a good story, and I could I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. Um, so I was dating this guy and he was like, Oh, I'm I'm I've dabbled in stand up as well. And I'm like, Oh, okay, cool. And I would bring him here. And when I would bring him here, he would look at other, like the other comment, uh, the other comics and be like, hey, can I get a picture with you real quick? And I'm like, no, this be is my cool. job. Yeah. What are you oh, doing? Oh, oh. And and also he'd be like, Justin, take a picture of me and so and so. And I'm like, no. So when this was back in the day, I want to say this was probably almost 10 years ago, if okay. not more, I can't remember. But um, I remember back in the day for the comics, we would have like discount uh, drink prices, right? So sure. it'd be like, okay, if we're here all night and we'd have a drink, it'd be like ha- cut in half for us. So the manager at the time would be like, oh yeah, you know, this is your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. It's like, yeah, we'll, we'll discount them as well. So that's what happened. So we broke up and then years later, I get a text from the the manager at the time who had taken over from the other one. And uh, she texts me up and she's like, do you know this guy? And I'm like, yeah, why? Uh, she's like, oh, because he's saying he's your boyfriend <gasps> and he's in the main room. What? And he is ordering drinks and said to put them on your tab. <gasps> The gold. No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't have you. a tab. Did you have the <laughs> Did you have the glory of yes. going saying to his face, "What the fuck are you doing?" I said, "Oh my god, Yay. I used to date this guy. Get him out of there now." And security went in the middle of the show. I was at home. This I got like just the the feedback from it. Um Security went up to him and his friend. He had someone with him. I think he was on a date they, with another guy. Yes, he was definitely on a date with another guy. Yes, oh and my they, god! They asked him to get up and leave, and he goes, "He goes, what is this about?" And security said, "You know what this is about." Good. And Good. kicked him out. And I said, "Ban him!" And he's been banished. Thank God. Banished. Yay. Yes. That's beautiful. Could you That's imagine? Beautiful. LA That's, love story. Yeah. And it's just, the just like. The goddamn gall. And like, what a stupid reason to get banished from a, an iconic comedy I establishment know. for. But dumb, also, dumb. you're on a date. Yeah. Like, imagine you're on a date and. Worse than the, using a coupon. And we're you, way and worse. Like, oh, my ex boyfriend told us. He, he said, oh, Justin told us to give us the, the comic discount. Gross. Yeah. And then on top of it, didn't tip the waitress. Oh. 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 This is a bad person. Bad person. Wow. You dodged the crazy. Bullet. How long did you date? Like maybe, uh, maybe like four or five, four or five, six months. Okay. Oh, you can right. add him at no. <laughs> Listen up, Just Sayers. Do you feel like money's just flying out of your account and you have no idea where it's going? <laughs> I know I do. That's why I'm using Rocket Money. Rocket Money is going to help you with all of your subscriptions. Sometimes you don't even know what subscriptions you're paying for. I know that I was paying twice for one subscription. And I know we're all busy. We have streaming services, fitness apps, parenting apps, delivery services. Rocket Money is going to compress all of those and let you keep charge of what you are spending. The best thing about Rocket Money, too, is it lets you know what upcoming charges will be charged to your account. Another thing that I love about Rocket Money is that they can actually help you lower your bills. So if you think you're paying too much for a service fee or charge, they will actually negotiate that and try to lower it for you, which, hello, 
That's great. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million, 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting your money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Saiyan, S-A-Y-I-N. That's rocketmoney.com slash Saiyan, S-A-Y-I-N. Rocketmoney.com slash Saiyan. All right, so let's get into some New York stuff. The Met Gala, the 2024 Met Gala co-chairs were just revealed, Ooh. and the star power is outrageous. Oh. Oh, I know, exactly. The star I'm power outraged. is outrageous. It, the theme has been revealed for the May Gala on May 6th. The theme is The Garden of Time. Okay, I like that one. That's a cool one. I can one. work with that one. Oh, can you? Floral? Yeah, yeah. we can do it. I love uh, vines. You can take it literally, or you can take it to another level. I like one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I like that you said that. Yeah. You can take it literally or to another level. Yeah. But yes. that other level has to be within the theme. You For can't sure. just wear like a black turtleneck and a dress, Amy Schumer. No. <laughs> oh, shots fired. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was not the theme. That felt personal. No, it was. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, You got invited to the Met Gala. Just do what the do guy the, did. What the was theme. the theme? I can't even remember. Well, it was like so Gilded, Gilded Glamour. And she's like, hi, oh, I'm Diane Gilded, Keaton. I remember uh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the, the Gilded Glamour is not Diane Keaton. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But the, um, the, uh, la, la, la. See, let's see. The co-chaired celebrities are Zendaya, Jennifer Lopez, Bad Bunny, Chris Hemsworth, um, who joined Vogue's Anna Wintour for the high-profile event. So when I think of the Garden of Time... Right. Ooh, I, there's so many ideas. I might go you conceptual, do? melting clock, you know? I, I was, I was gonna going to say melting Salvador clock. Dali? Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. Um, I, I think you can do a lot with this. I would do flower vines, some kind of flower vine something. Poison ivy. Yes, yes, I'm yes. also getting like... Or like body tattoo, like a tattoo dress. I'm also getting like a South Carolina high school prom. <laughs> oh, oh, with like a corsage. Like the Garden of Time. Right. Like, like it's like the prom theme. And they're yeah. like, well, we wanted to go Garden with. Garden of Time also sounds like a Chinese buffet. I don't the know Garden why. of That's Time. True. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll go Which with Which it Sesame is the chicken. year of the dragon. Okay. So maybe you do like some dragon. Yeah, I love floral. I love when you take stepping stones out from a theme mm-hmm. and you're like, you just arrive at something that's just completely kind of confusing to others. But also, I need Bad Bunny and or Chris Hemsworth or both to just wear a fig leaf. Oh, yeah. And that it. See, I think it. Bad Bunny's so much hotter than Chris Hemsworth doesn't do it for me. Bad Bunny. Why? I think he's I need to find accent. out why Bad Bunny is hot. Uh, um, he's got swag. And he also, this is, he doesn't speak very good English, and I Perfect. like that. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't? Yeah, because I don't like a lot of talking going yeah. on. That's where New York and L.A. are similar, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no one speaks good English. Oh. Less chatting and yeah. just kind of like, he's, you know, he's he is more of a vibe. Like, mm-hmm. he, he's the human version of, it's more of a vibe. Yeah. I love that for him. Um, Jennifer Lopez, she is the Garden of Time. You yeah. know, it's like, how many Garden of Times can you be engaged? Yeah. I mean, she's still like, you know... I feel like if she was asked a question, she'd be like, I got all the time in the world for love. Yeah. We're like, okay, yeah, we got yeah, it, J-Lo. You do, but. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, you know. <laughs> Hi, I'm I love J-Lo. love. Love is, love is time. Time is love. <laughs> time is Dunkin' Donuts. Right? I know. Right, Ben? You it's know. weird for to go to from the Dunkin' Donuts commercial to this. And, and then Zendaya is just going to go yeah. in there and just kick oh, everyone in the dick. I love her. She's going to be a congratulation. Did you see her Dune, too, Yes, premiere? yes. That outfit was incredible. The butt cheek windows. Oh my God, I loved it. I mean, it was like the cat backpack, but yeah. on her ass. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. Like, oh, if I she had a it. cat in there with her, I'd be like, yes. Yeah. But also, she was wearing a vintage Mugler outfit, and I'm like, oh, like people so were comparing good. her to C3PO. She looked like, Be- like, she reminded me of Beyonce's uh, Renaissance tour. Like, Very a lot much of so. Like, I similar. thought it was so hot, and people were like, oh, enough. I did. I enough. Did. What? Look at that woman. She's I know. Bored. She's stunning. Flawless. That's also, it's her movie. Like, what if you can't show up in a, in a silver spacesuit to your own movie? Yeah. What, where can you show up? Up in a silver space suit. Thank I you. And I didn't even watch Dune 1, but no. I will see Dune 2 yes, because of, of this so, outfit. Yes, me too. And someone did post a meme saying, if she farts, does it cloud up? And oh, I'm like, oh, that's a great question. I spent the night awake wondering. Yeah, it definitely does. Maybe there's a tiny like series of like hole. holes, like pinholes yeah. so that it can be released because in case there's... <laughs> yeah. What was that, Zendaya? That was Tom Holland. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
I mean, I mean whatever she does is going to be everything. Garden yeah. of Time, I'm here for it. I agree. It's giving like Olive Garden vibes, like <laughs> or Alice in Wonderland. I probably take Alice in Wonderland, the Mad Tea Party. For Good Garden of Time. Someone yeah. is going to yeah. do Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. The Garden of Time. Golden you could also go political scene. and go full soil, like use real soil. Dirt. And then kind of put different, like have different things that represent bad things that happen throughout time on yeah. your body. Ooh. And, and really then they can make a statement. That plant into flowers Ooh. because we've created legislation and policy to make a bad thing I better. like an interactive one. You have someone watering you, yeah, walking, yeah, yeah, watering yeah, yeah, yeah. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Come you get on. walked like a dog. Yeah, you have a dry look and a wet cool. look. Yeah. Yeah, and I you like have a um, like a window planter on your back, oh, and yeah. you have to be straight at all times. Yes, mm. you could at, at some point in a, on the red the carpet, you could get down. Someone could start hoeing you. Yeah, yeah. And you go, hey ho! I want to go. Yeah. Or it could be Cardi B dressed as a Wait. hoe. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Corinne <laughs> like and I just... need to get invited to the Met Gala because we would have an immersive costume. I mean, yeah, yeah we got to like start Shit. planning. Let's call La Roach. <laughs> Let's make some. My boyfriend sung at Anna Wintour's ex husband's funeral not that so long you're ago. There. So maybe. I'm sorry. And she liked him. And she liked him. You're can we, there, girl. Can yeah. we repeat um, that? And I dropped him sentence? off at the venue. And <laughs> Wait, she I was, once again. drove my boyfriend too. I drove my boyfriend to the Bronx so he could sing at Anna Wintour's ex husband's funeral like th two months ago. It was recent. What was the theme? Um, <laughs> sad. <laughs> death. Wow. Wow. Miss you. Yeah. <laughs> the thing but is, death. though, is Anna Wintour's ex husband the closest you can get to the Met Gala or the furthest away? What was, um, what was well, the divorce? She like? paid for the funeral. <gasps> oh. Yeah, she's a classy lady. Did she, I mean, I'm pretty sure she paid did for Did she have she, the person killed? Mm, good question. Didn't <laughs> think of that one. She's scared. Is this Probably the, not. This is, the, this is season three of Feud right yeah. here. <laughs> like, this is happening. <laughs> Wintour versus the flowers. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Have you ever met Anna Wintour? I'm, like, no. I walked past her in Vogue. I'm I walked scared. past her a bunch. I feel like if I saw her, it'd be like looking at the Mothman prophecies. And oh, like, right. like three days later, like, like my soul fine. would leave my body. Yeah. She's cool. I feel like she's cool. Yeah. And I feel like she probably appreciates when people are not intimidated by her. Like my boyfriend had very lovely things to say about her. She was really nice. I think she's mm. really good. But when she's yeah. behind closed doors, I think she is the head witch and the witches. She takes the wig off. The face um, peels off. She's right. like, oh, no children. Yeah. I hope so. I hope so too. That'd be cool. All right. Well, keeping the stories moving, we've got Sharon Stone. Who's, who's worth, worth 60 million. I love that that's in parentheses. <laughs> she's worth 60 million. Call her daddy one episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. She says One day it's we're very gonna make expensive money. to be famous and reveals yeah. that she can't fly on normal airlines and has to have staff to keep her safe and stylish. You have to get the check every time. Okay. So huh. this is kind of amazing because um, she said... I feel like you wear a hat and sunglasses. I will People say, wouldn't know it was Sharon Stone. Well, no, Alan Cumming was on my flight to LA and he was escorted. Like I and I got I got upgraded to Delta One because I called and I really coaxed the guy uh, yeah. over the phone for a while. But uh I was waiting, you know, you get to kind of board first, and then the security was like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm like, what the fuck? And then it was Alan Cumming. So I'm like, oh wow, celebrities get like an escort onto the airplane. Well, it's also like Alan Cumming. He's just like high fashion. He's yeah. like Stonehenge come to life. You know yeah. what I mean? It's that mystical. <laughs> time portal just like yeah. he's the garden of time he is the garden of time <laughs> yes that's what I can't I want to see him at the Met Gala oh, as the garden of time with grass growing at his god feet. he's so good well she's complaining she can't jump on a Delta flight she has to employ a, a retinue of staff to keep her looking stylish she said you go out to dinner and there's 15 people at the table and who gets the check you get the $3,000 dinner check that's every single time that would uh, be annoying yeah I would she, just say no just say no. I would say no as well, but then that would leak, and then you're an asshole, and you know you Sharon can't Stone kind of break. Sharon cheap, yeah. Yeah, Damn. Sharon Stone is cheap. So she, um, I don't understand why it's so important to say that she's worth sixty million dollars. She says yeah. it's a. Uh, she can't get. Uh, she has to pick up the check at dinner. Uh, she also said her star is so great that she can no longer jump on a Delta flight. That does suck, though. Everyone. Delta is, One is like Delta One's pretty legit. cool. Yeah, yeah it's, like, and you, it's your own little bunker. I know it's you get the a best. fucking bunker. Yeah, so and I don't understand. the food is what, good. What she's bitching about. And also, did That's we true. see- true, no one will see her. Didn't we see the like picture of like all the private jets leaving Las Vegas after the Super Bowl? <laughs> yeah. Like, we yeah. get it. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she crying about it in this uh, video? Probably. <laughs> oh, no. No, she's talking, talking about Israel. About Israel. We got oh, it. Yeah. okay. But I like, honestly, I have to imagine? wear makeup on my flight, and it, you know the altitude makes my skin break out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. My ears Sharon, don't pop like Sharon, a, you have a famous bunker. person's ear purse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your bunker has a roof. You don't have to, no one has to see you. Yeah. yeah. You have a blanket. You cover your head. Because I walked by Alan Cummings' bunker, couldn't see him. I looked in. He was hiding. <laughs> you Are you in? in? Yeah, I was like, a Delta One peeker? Yeah. Why not? I'm like, I am also Delta One. Who We're the only there? ones allowed to use this bathroom right now. <laughs> knock, knock. I'm going to look. I think, I mean, this is just rich people problems. I love it. But also, if if a, if someone's going to have rich people problems, mm. let it be Sharon Stone. Sure. Yeah. Let Sharon, it be Sharon Stone. Absolutely. I'd rather be Sharon Stone than like, it's who else? be weird. Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Do you right. know what I mean? Like, right, 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 Gypsy right, right. Rose Blanchard. Last seat by the bathroom relation. where you belong. You know, you look like a possum. I didn't know animals could be in Damn. Delta One. You know? Wow. I still am. Justin, she was tricked. Was she? She was. I guess. <laughs> I like how she wants to, like, she talks about banging her husband, and then you see the husband, and you You're go, like, someone needed to. I want to call Child Protective yeah. Services. Like, I don't know. But did you see the phenomenon that it was like, her husband looks like her mom? Uh, no. I didn't Ew. see that, but I've seen a picture of her husband and her mom, and now it's all coming together. Mm -hmm. Ew. But good for her. Good I'm for glad her. she's, like, making the Instagram rounds. She's been in jail. She didn't know what Instagram is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking of who doesn't know what Instagram is, Britney Spears oh. is still dating her former housekeeper, Paul Richard Solis, despite his criminal background. This came out today. I was very excited. I was going to say, I didn't know about this. I, I like to jump on it and get it. Um, so this was rumored that she had called it quits back in September of 2023. Um, I need to see a picture of this guy. Oh, Her dancing we'll videos it. with the knives. Um, oh, Brittany and Paul are definitely together, says one source. He's still in the picture. A second source says that uh, Solis, who met Spears last May when he was hired to do maintenance work at her oh. L.A. mansion, um, shortly before her divorce from Sam Asghari, is currently involved with the singer. While they rarely step out for dates, the pair take road trips to Santa Barbara and Solis stays at her place two or three nights a week. She doesn't like it when he leaves. Um, he She's works full time and has to tend to family obligations. She feels as though she deserves more attention, but he has to be there for his kids. Ooh, Her yeah. kids apparently have moved to Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> so, but this is the guy. Okay. Uh, he looks like someone who would come maybe who do would, something that would your take house. advantage of Britney Spears' uh, 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 mental health. Yeah. Oh, no. I want to be her guardian. Oh. I know. Like, because I'd be like, do whatever you want, girl, but like, don't date these maintenance guys, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Just do everything except that. Don't dance with knives. Yeah. This you know? Guy, this, this guy is taking advantage I mean, of her. but... I hate America. America did this to her. <laughs> America did this to her. Yeah. This poor woman. I went with all those documentaries about her, like that interview with, what was it, Diane Sawyer or something? Or, or Barbara Walters, where they were just she completely slut-shaming her. Or she's, yeah. Yeah, and they were yeah. like, you know, uh, men are saying that you're a bad influence, blah, blah, blah. And what do you think, Brittany? And she's 19. She's like, I don't know. I'm just performing. I'm just singing songs. All these moms think you're a whore. Well, yeah. Yeah. Ugh. She's like, well, I just, I perform your response. for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your response. You know what, though? We That's said that so Gypsy gross. Rose's mom looks like her now husband. Yeah. yeah. This guy, I'm getting K-Fed. K-Fed. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, getting, K -fed. I'm getting Tampa K-Fed. Tampa K-Fed. Okay, oh, but the God. thing is, K-Fed in his prime was hot. I would go for him. I would go for a guy who's hot, who has nothing, like, career-wise is ever going to pop. Mm -hmm. I love that mm -hmm. in a man. Yeah, because he's going to love you. He's going to worship you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My ex-boyfriend and I, we we, we dressed up as uh, K-Fed and Brittany for Halloween around the time it was happening. It was my favorite ho Halloween costume. Like, chaotic? Time. When they had the show? <gasps> yeah, because oh, he actually, like, when he put, like, with the earring and the hat, I'm like, he looked like K Fed, I was like, this is great. Yeah, God, mm. that show Chaotic was the best. I mean, that show was like if Meth and Mountain Dew had a show. <laughs> like, it really. <laughs> there was a lot of, a lot good of shows digging holes. At that time. Just a lot of like, huh? What? Yeah. Do you want candy? Mean? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, I. I oh, wow. K Fed was hot. I know. Jesus I, Christ, just, I yeah, forgot. I love, there's something Fuck, that I, I love forgot. like a white rapper vibe, and I, there, I, I, I do just, too. I, I, I can't hide it anymore. Eminem. I'm not even trying. I masturbate to Eminem still. Do you think. Uh, Post Malone's hot. Yes, yes, hundred yes, percent. <laughs> yes. yes, I do. Anyone who has a tattoo on their face but hasn't Yo. experienced any hardships, sign me up. Yeah, 
Because it's like you, you make obstacles for yourself. No, I do have a type. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Oh, I God. did the same thing too because I remember like Post Malone coming out and being like he was a little thicker when he started and yes. then there was like the rumors that he was like on Ozempic or whatever which uh, of course yeah but I he saw like him Jonah Hilled yeah yeah yes and then I saw him at the Super Bowl and I was like where'd you go huh no I was kind of like he's hot he's hot I thought he was hot when he was fat yeah, me too. And he also seems like a genuinely nice person. Yeah, There's yeah. a lot of interactions he's with sensitive. him where he seems like he's a very kind person. And he has like his, his like the grill. And I'm not like yeah. I never thought that I was. I like, love a grill. I, I'm like he's he seems very sweet. He's emotional and plays guitar. Like yeah. that's nice. Sing the national anthem for God's sake. They're yeah. not the national anthem. God, what the, is the, what's the one? The Star American Band. the Beautiful. Oh. I don't know. Um, but um, what does Post Malone smell like? Um. I'm going to say... Palo Santo. Palo Santo yeah, I could beef see that. jerky. Mm, yeah. But maybe like vegan beef jerky. You know, I could see him being the vegan. He looks like he smokes too. But yeah. I mean, I think he he definitely has some kind of a film on his fingertips, but I don't mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, re I really like Post Malone. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't look clean. I, Just, yeah. That's okay. He's dirty clean. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like... Like like the French, I guess. Like you know, like mm. doesn't shower every day, but like a, he he knows what dry shampoo is. It. Does he use it? We don't know. Right. Yeah. He has it. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah. He's got his own post Malone Thunder dry shampoo, yeah, yeah, but yeah. doesn't use it. Yeah. Yeah, he's hot. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Um, Britney Spears housekeeper smells like <sighs> Lysol. Lysol grass clippings. Yeah. <sighs> Oil and tiger Oil. Bomb. Yeah. I don't like him. I don't trust him. No, no, I don't trust him. He's terrible. He's terrible. Yeah, I don't he's like the, I don't like the like 1930s like gelled hair back. Like, yeah, he's like a smash. He's like Smash Mouth's mechanic from 97. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. No, she's she's in a vulnerable place right now. I, I and I I, I was so mad because I really wanted Sam Ascari to not be a, a jerk. He's so I wanted hot. him not to, to be gym. a jerk. <gasps> Are you serious? That was a long He's play so manipulation. Beautiful. And it was I mean rough. my gym. <laughs> like he just, you own it. <laughs> you know, Justin's. He, he goes to the gym down the street and I always see him and he's like taking pictures and stuff on the balcony and stuff. It's oh. weird. It's weird when you see like people in the wild and you're like, oh, I Ew, see you're, what you're doing. Oh, gross. Yeah. yeah. He's but he is so, so hot. Oh, he's gorgeous. It's stupid how mm -hmm. hot that guy is. Yeah, I get it. Those get lips. Yeah. Oh. 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 Well, oh. we're praying for Brittany. I mean, yeah. what month is it? Yep. We're still praying for Brittany. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, you guys don't know housewives. I am fairly new into the housewives genre as well. Okay. Now, this is about a uh, woman named Larsa Pippen. This is basketball wives. Yeah. She got her start with also the Kardashians. Uh -huh. oh. She's also on oh, this right. season Kim's of The Traitors with um, Alan Cumming. Oh, that's a scripted show? Oh no! Oh, I hope not. That would be so awful. Because it's traders? so good. What's the traitors. Yeah. What's oh my god. Plot? Yeah. You don't know what it's about. No. <sighs> Welcome to LA, ladies. <laughs> All right. Is it like traitors with a T or traitors with a T? Traitors. Okay. Yeah. So they're in a castle in Scotland. Obviously. And it's like reality <laughs> cool. stars from like Bravo, Big Brother, Survivor. Um, the Bachelor, and they're all in this castle, and eat, and there's three traitors get picked to kill off oh. the rest of the people and not oh. really kill them. But there's like a prize involved, like and the, real people clue or something. Yes, yeah. yes, oh, yes. There's a lot. That's like a big trend because there's that also that reality show where it's like my I'm related to a famous person. And you gotta yes. guess who it is. Yes. That's the whole show. That was a sad show. That was sad, but I was oddly I was disappointed <laughs> in myself how interested I was. Oh in the really? Plot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I just saw a clip of like Joey Fatone and his sister singing, and I was like, okay, here we are. You know. <laughs> It's a little sad. It's a, but I mean, that's what we like. We like reveals. We like exposés. Yeah, sure. So Larsa Pippen now? was um, dating Marcus Jordan, who is the son of Michael Jordan. Right. Whoa, okay. So and Larsa she, oh. was married to Scottie Pippen. Right. Whoa. Yes. So Larsa's also 49 yeah. years old, and M Michael Jordan's son is 33. That's very hot right Wait, now. That's very so age hot. gap. That's very hot right now. So they've been dating. Yeah. Six, mm. yeah, 16 year age gap. And then on Monday, this past Monday, they broke up. Okay. They unfollowed each other. They together, actually, Marcus and Larsa are on Traders as oh, a couple. Oh, wow. So they're the first couple to be on Traders. Whoa. So she was married to Whoa. Michael Jordan's. Um, <laughs> no, sorry. She, she was married to, to Michael Jordan's like <laughs> nemesis, Scottie Pippen. <laughs> Looks like she ate shellfish and she's allergic to the shellfish. <laughs> she also ate shellfish and is allergic to shellfish. Like highly allergic. Yeah. So they unfollowed each other. Then on Valentine's oh. Day, 
um, they got back together. Oh, and oh, wow. now is this just a promo like, for the show? I don't know. Now, Probably. now there's a ring on her finger. They've been dating, I think, for like 18 months, and they love each other. And wow, that doesn't look. He doesn't. He's doesn't look as young. Yeah, he doesn't look. They as look young, the same age. Yeah, because yeah, because well, she yeah she injected. She looked, yeah, she's wish card. She injected that to sixteen yeah. years away. So I mean, and it's she, working. I like it. She's yeah. also on the Real Housewives of Miami as well. Oh, okay. So and gotcha. she has said things on the show that uh, they have sex like four times a day. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like when people say that, they're just fucking. No, but that, that age gap is that's that's oh. I've been that's the age gap. That's why you do older woman, younger guy because they the both sex, fuck like you're rabbits. both at your sexual peak. It's perfect. Oh, yeah, shit. I'm okay. speaking from experience. Oh, I'm. I really. I got to date a younger guy. I, I tried this uh, in the past couple of years, and it changed my life. So. Yeah, her put reviews little, were so raised that I'm like, my step. I got to like, I got to do that too. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 it's a beautiful I'm gonna day. Show shine. I'm gonna go to the Ferris wheel. <laughs> yep. Um, so there's been so much said about this. Nobody knows what's going on. Juicy. Um, she also posted on her Instagram in a in a poll. She said, "Should your friends unfollow your ex?" Mm. Which I thought was kind of an interesting question. That is an interesting question. Yeah. Depends on what the ex did. Yeah, Should yeah your exactly. Should friends unfollow your ex? Because I usually I, ask my friends. Like, is this? Do I need to unfollow? I, I sometimes do you want, want to do your friend to keep following them to keep tabs. Mm, exactly. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But I here's the thing that I think is weird, and I thought this was doomed from the start because they share phone passwords. No, no. Ew. Why? They yeah. show that on Guys. an episode of Miami where she's like, oh, yeah, Marcus and I have the same phone mm. password and we trust each other. And I'm like, no. No. no, no one who trusts each other says they trust each other out yeah. loud. No. And yeah. there's so much. Uh, they <laughs> That's very true. And um, they just filmed the Real Housewives of Miami uh, reunion, which is coming out this week. OK. And. Um, there was an explosive reveal that apparently Marcus was caught on a hot mic during the reunion, and he said something so salacious and scandalous about the women that they don't know about it yet because it, it's, you know, <laughs> Now perfect. I'm going to tune yeah. in. I got to know what he said. <clears throat> and it's going to change the way the women perceive him forever. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> he calls them all whores. Yes. I mean, that's pretty much what I... And suspecting, but yeah, or something about their age. It could be age related oh, too. That would turn them. Yeah, that would turn the women against them. But it, what do you think about that? Okay, so you're married to an NBA Hall of Famer, <sighs> and then you divorce that guy, yeah. and you're set for life. Yeah, and she's also a woman who brags about being an independent woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the importance of being an independent woman. <laughs> okay. That yeah. again, and no woman who's actually independent says the shit out loud. We got to stop. We're all yap, yap, yapping and we're not doing. Yeah. Larsa right though. And let's not take advice from Larsa. I'm yeah. sure she's a nice lady. Yeah. You know, she came from the house of Kardashian. She looks like Kim Kardashian if it was on a wish. Yeah. Uh, you <laughs> I'll know, make a wish. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like it's just, it's, you know, it's, she, she's, she's cute. I love, I do love the plastic surgery look, honestly. It does look like she ate shellfish, but it's hot. And they make good TV. It's kind of funny she he would also be gone for like three days like on a trip or something and she would throw a party when he came back oh that's like cute balloons and food and that's people were like he's sweet. gone for the weekend what are you doing well that's how you have to treat the youngins that's how you keep them you gotta have yeah it's like a little, little birthday party got it yeah any pizza buddy yeah we have pin the tail on the dark yeah. on the donkey yeah. i literally yeah. started stalking you who because i was dating a guy 12 years younger and it made him so happy Good. and i said you know what i can carry the you who home for you baby <laughs> But Michael Jordan, his dad, does yeah. not approve of this. Yeah, no, I, think I would imagine that's, yeah, that's my friend's ex. Yeah. Isn't that Dating weird? my son. Very weird. And how do we Very normalize weird. this? It's kind of kinky, we, though. You think? Oh, yeah. yeah. For it. them, I'm happy for them. Romeo because, and Juliet, mm -hmm. feuding family kind of yeah. yeah. Their yeah. sex life is probably very juicy. Yeah. Very juicy. Yeah, and it just feels like you're both you're both bred from like greatness. You're both have you have been surrounded by greatness or greatness lives has in been the same inside way. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like it. I, I like Is that it. Michael Jordan. Yeah, the right. Oh, That's yeah. Michael and his son Marcus. Yeah. Wow. They don't look like yeah. Michael's much better looking. He has previously publicly expressed disapproval of his son's relationship, mm. so he's been public about it. Right. Okay. Yeah. He's gonna, his son's going to do what he's going to do. I'm interested to see how this unfolds, but I, I it do. It is juicy. It is, right? It's just like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Wasn't Scotty always cheating on Larsa? Probably. And, and then she would get, like, rings. She was one of, I think she oh, was, was one of those Kobe. people. that was Kobe. 
Right, but this is that's like, that's like a move that a lot of the athletes do. Yeah, athlete for me is uh, you can't date an athlete. Yeah, that's I don't trust what them. was happening yeah. with um, Kyle Richards and Mauricio in Beverly Hills because there was this whole thing about him oh. cheating on her and her being a lesbian. Oh, now with okay. Morgan Wade and okay. Garcelle is like, oh, or uh, Sutton was like, oh, I like this ring. What is that? And they actually brought that up. We're like, is this the like I'm sorry ring or like yeah. I messed up ring because it wasn't her wedding band? Yeah, oh. I learned. So much from these women. I yeah. really do. Yeah. Just sayers, you know, I love wine. I love it. I can't get enough of it. In fact, there might even be wine in this mug. That's why I love First Leaf. First Leaf makes it so fun and easy to explore new wines from all over the world. It's simple. You go online and take a quiz. And I love a good quiz. It tells you what you like, what you don't like. Click thumbs up, click thumbs down, whatever. If you like sweet, if you like savory, if you like bold, if you like fruity, what did you call me? It's all there. And they will cultivate your wine experience with six bottles in a box delivered right to your door. You have to be 21 or over, and they do card you. But you also get to schedule your delivery, schedule what time you want, schedule your next box. I personally have a new box coming uh, for me in a couple days. So I can't wait to check out what First Leaf has sent me. Um, and my first box, I was actually blown away. I was trying wines that I particularly don't drink. Um, I got a nice rosé. I got a Pinot Noir. I think I got a nice Cabernet. Um, a Chilean Malbec. Plus, if I get a bottle or shipment that I'm not really feeling, I don't have to worry about it because First Leaf has a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So try something new this year with First Leaf. Go to tryfirstleaf.com slash Sayin, S-A-Y-I-N, to sign up and you'll get your first six hand-curated bottles for just $44.95. That's tryfirstleaf.com slash Sayin to sign up and you'll get your first six handcrafted bottles delivered to your door for $44.95. But let's learn something from Gen Z. Okay. Yeah? Yes. Um, Gen Z men go traditional and cover the women's costs on a date night. This is the new trend. They say equality didn't mean we should pay the same. Okay. Okay. So a little more on this is that despite being seen as politically progressive when it comes to gender equality, young American men are still expected to pick up the tab for the women they're wooing, and they're more than happy to do so. Aww. A survey of 552 heterosexual college students cited in a new report by the New York Times found that Zoomer men paid for Zoomer. dates 90% of the time. Ah, I get it. Nice. Gen Z women, on the other hand, paid in full for just 2% of the dates they in went on, full. while 8% of the dates were split evenly between the sexes. Wow. So I guess Gen Z is bringing back chivalry. Yeah, that's I, that's kind of nice. It also depends what kind of colleges they were surveying. Like, uh -huh. surveys can be so skewed, yeah. you know? It's like, is this in the South? Is this... Right. Exactly. Yes. I don't yes. know where this is. Is this Notre Dame or is this SVA? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And also, I love that they said 552 heterosexual college right. students because if these were homosexual college students they're just you know buying each other drinks yeah. there's no dinner it's they're just, both eating at the yeah, same time yeah they're on the same grinder app yeah. you know yeah. what I mean there's no there's no like there's no courting yeah, you know yeah. it's just like let's go grab a beer at high tops and then take it back to my place that's yeah. really all it is I like that um, but I do like that I, I, I think that's kind of fun how do you guys feel about like splitting the check your order the guy covering. Splitting is the word. I would rather <clears throat> pay in full as the woman than split. Splitting to me is just so like, eh, Meticulous. On a it's so, yes, yeah. it's like, it ruins the vibe. I like to do, if the date's going well, one person pays for uh, dinner and then like I'll pay for drinks after yeah. at the second spot. Because usually you go to two places in New York unless you hate each other. What's two places like? Nice, fun. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. you go to dinner and then go to a bar? Like a yeah. speakeasy mm -hmm. bar or you something keep it going. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I like so I like that so that's how I always do it. But like I've had I have a lot of masculine energy, so for me, it's helpful if I let the man pay because then that doesn't feel like I'm like they don't like when you try to take control too much in that way. Mm -hmm. And I just don't like to ever feel like I owe someone something or like mm -hmm. they like want them to think that I'm gonna like, like have PJ. sex with them because they spent fifty dollars on me. Oh, story yeah. of my life. <laughs> um, also, I think I, I love what you said about that because I there's nothing worse than like like being on a date with someone and they're looking at the check and they're like, yeah. Oh, you, what, hell no. Do not pick. Do well, not. you had three martinis. A, oh, my oh, oh my God. I hate when friends do that. Like, yeah, oh yes. my God. Do you want to split the tartare? I'm like, how? Yeah. Yeah. How do we split the tartare? Yeah. Stop it. How do you split tartare? Or yeah, it's more like, you had three mozzarella sticks. Oh, I had two oh, mozzarella sticks. Oh, 
decided that I would never make me never date again. again. No. I just can't. Yeah, I can't. I will energy. say I only have ever offered to split the check when I did not have a good time and I don't want to see the person again. I'm like, thank you for your time. We're going to split this 50-50. Yeah. I'm out. Wow. Yeah, that's that's my That's my move. That's fair. I never knew. Yeah. Yeah, that's how. They, and do you think they get that? I think they do. Yeah, but if they like they were there on the date and too. wasted your time, to- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if they were out and wasted your time though, like don't you? I'm like you, you're not okay with like just like no, letting because, them pay for it. No, because I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't agree to go on a date with somebody unless I was like really attracted to them. Like mm-hmm. that guy. That guy. I met a guy. At a, I right. like meeting people in real life. I'll just hit on men all like whenever I feel the desire to. Good for you. Yeah. Good and for I'm, you. In New York, there's a lot of hotties, and this one bartender guy was so hot. And I was like, I don't know if you're straight. I don't know if you're single. But if you are, this is my oh, number. I would love I to go out with guy. you. And he was yeah. like, okay. And we were flirting a little bit. And then we went to we went to dinner. And it was just, he was like a, talking to a brick wall. It was awful. Oh, It no. was so awful. And I was like, ugh. So I was like, hey, uh, can we get a check? We're going to split it. It was really nice meeting you. See you later. And we never talked again. Whoa. Yeah. Which is fine. Yeah. I, my body was like, yo, go out with this guy. But then my brain was like, never talk to him again. Mm. That's so good that you have that yeah. <laughs> mental just, capacity. Well, that's the New York thing. It's like, yeah. let's go. Like, I'm going to see if I vibe with you and I'll know right away. And if not, pff, we let's not waste each other's time. Come on. God, that's so good. Well, um, speaking of vibing the right way <laughs> or the wrong way, Sean Evans from The Hot Ones, it came out um, on Monday. Dude, he Everything does not happened deserve... A- Huh? That pussy. That's a, that, this, okay. This is this is a, they're dragging him with this photo. This is a terror. He's not this unattractive. Yeah, and they also, are. they made a they <laughs> chose a photo where he's holding five hot sauces. Yes, I mean those are the ones. Like so, Sean Evans is the host of the Hot Ones, yeah. which is like the you know everyone. He's a knows. good interviewer. The chicken wings. He is show. really good. Yeah, he's really good. And um, it came out. I don't know what happened, but it was revealed that he was dating this porn star um, named Melissa Stratton. Oh, age appropriate. Love that. 37, 34. Yeah. Proud of him. He was dating this woman um, as of last Monday. Then Valentine's Day happened again. (laughs) And he broke up with her on Valentine's Day. He called it quits with the porn star because of the media attention. Stratton believed that she and Evans had a genuine spark. So Aww. that's what I find. How would he date a porn star and go, no media attention? What? Well, because they're not real people, apparently. Oh. <laughs> I think this is so lame because clearly he has something great going for him. Yeah. She's doing great in her career. Yeah. And also, like, what does that say about you? Yeah. You're a little bitch. Yeah, you're a little bitch. That's what you're saying. Oh, your girlfriend's not good enough to be out in the public? Right. Gross. Media, media attention. Also, Whoever you date, people are going to talk about. Between the two of you, mm. she's the hot one. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, speaking of the she's hot the one. She's the Trace Calientes. Yeah. She's the bomb. Yeah. She is the final dad. Uh-huh. She doesn't need water. <laughs> She didn't need milk or water, Mm-mm. and she's gonna eat wings and not some vegan cauliflower no. chicken tender. She's gonna lick them out. Damn. I'm so mad. And also, you know what? I'm trying to think. What's her day? <laughs> What's her day at work like? Um, you know, a lot of uh, celium husk before she- scene. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out also Kira gave us that hot tip. <laughs> It probably burns when she poops in the morning, just yeah. like him. Yes, yes. You know yes. What I for mean? different reasons. There's but yeah, different, different reasons. Yeah, yeah. So it's spicy when she poops in the morning too. Yeah. So relax. I'm, I'm thinking like this? there's more. Yeah, I'm like I'm keep reading this sentence because like there's more to. I feel yeah. like he Sometimes couldn't handle. Here. He was probably getting roasted hard by because you know like a Chipotle flavored he, hot sauce. Yeah, <laughs> by like the men. The, there's this very specific brand of man who follows adult entertainers online, and they were probably roasting him. You mean hard. bald and white? Well, yes. but, <laughs> they, but they talk in incel though, and you know, so they they it can hurt sometimes. Mm-hmm. So I think that's like he couldn't handle. He couldn't handle the heat. This was always what makes me sad too because. It says that Stratton was caught off guard by the breakup since she believed that they had a spark. Mm-hmm. Um, however, she's also questioning the reason why he dumped her yeah. as she allegedly got an okay from him to post photos of them from the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's something having to do with the social media going public. He couldn't handle it. I mean, yeah, he fr- he freaked out. But it has to do with like— Oh, he looks more handsome in that photo. Yeah, he's, well, like, he's he, like red. He matches yeah. the Kansas City Chiefs colors. He's okay. Yeah, I'm he, sure he probably he, had a— He's like a good a, personality. A he's, a I'm sure he's a good person to talk to. Yeah. I know he's come here. He's been around at the comedy store. Yeah, for yeah, a few, yeah. But I'm also like, 
You mean what? I'd be curious, like what the act, what, like is that the full story? You know, I always, I always. Men are weird about. I've learned porn my lesson stars. about. Yeah, some men are weird about them. Yeah, some men are aren't, but he maybe. Um, his dick and his heart were at odds. She's. Sad, it says she's. Yeah, she's sad about the breakup. She had a feeling that he was um, feeling pressure from his side after the relationship went public. Yeah, I think that's lame, though. It is lame. It's it's yeah. showing who he is. He's a weak man, but I, better to know now than six months from now. Yeah, unfortunately. She's, she's gonna bounce back. Yeah, she'll she'll be fine. We're rooting for oh, her. She's she'll gonna be bounce. Okay. She's yeah. She's gonna get a, a new one. Well, the speaking rumor, of porn, did you hear this? True. This story's a little late, uh-huh. but I never really addressed it. Okay. Um, we're about to experience, you know, nine inches of rain next week. And Drake gave us a little more than nine inches a week wow. ago. Wow, wow, wow. After he allegedly inappropriately leaked an X-rated video he of him it. on X. Oh. Did you see the video? No. You didn't. But I got all these texts. I was like, yo, Drake's dick's online. <laughs> you and can I was like, post what? it on X, Who though? Who sent you that text? A couple people. A couple Friends? Of my girlfriends, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. No one te- No one alerted me. <laughs> I, I was alerted almost immediately. And I don't, I'm not, I like Drake. I'm not like, yeah. but I'm not like a fan. Like, if it was anything Beyonce, yes, you should text me. But anything else, I'm like, I don't really care. But. I had a friend alert me as well. And really? I was like, thank you for thinking that I listened to Drake. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, I, I couldn't even name a, a Drake song. Oh, yeah. yeah? I, I, I do love Drake. I love, like, early 2000s Drake is, like, close to my heart. What's the one that was, like... Cell phone, um, you know, the cell phone. Call bling. me on my cell yeah. phone. That one. I know that one. That's a good one. That's it. Uh, I was alerted, I mean, by his wife when Tommy Lee posted a picture of his dick, and I screenshotted that. Who, Britney? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, she posted about it, and I was like, yeah, thank gr- thanks, girl. I was like, you're a friend. But, I mean, also, like, Tommy Lee, that's like vintage. That's like yeah. a that's like an old Pinot it's like Noir. Like a 70s Porsche. Yeah, that's so like. It's, well, so it's not weird that he posted it. No, okay. I feel like we know. We've already seen it. <laughs> We've seen it. Yeah, I feel like yeah. it's a good dick. Yeah, I mean, like you see it. It, it's really what launched the internet. Yeah, was Tommy yeah. Lee's. Penis. Right, right. I just yeah, I, I was I, I was cool that she posted about yeah. it and let us all know. It was nice. Yeah. she's a girl's girl. You know? Yeah, Tommy Lee's penis is like a you know in in a wine cellar of dicks. Like it's a vintage. It's, right. It's, we only bring it out for special occasions. Yeah. Drake's, it was just kind of like, huh. Um, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's good if you're into the art of dickery. Mm. Yeah. Um, I he, does, he does have the energy. He does, I f- of, for sure. And also he played like the kid in the wheelchair on Degrassi, right. which I'm like- Right, he's trying to break out of that. Yeah. Um, I know you'll probably wait on me to address this. So the rumors are true. My dad is here. That's what y'all were waiting uh, for. Uh, he uh, said that uh, at a concert, uh. which my sister- is in Tennessee and took my niece to the Drake concert. Uh, I was like, oh God, he's no. going to talk about it. And I guess that's what he said. Mm, okay. So I was like, oh, I don't want uh, my little niece. I, I mean, he says, no. Yeah, he says some stuff in his lyrics. That, I mean, you know. yeah. I don't See, I need to, I need to do a, a deep dive on Drake. I don't know. Um, but I think, I wasn't surprised. That's what I'm getting at. I oh, saw, yeah, no. Yeah. It was, you know, some people were doing the memes and the gifts of like, like slapping it around or whatever. And I'm, I don't know, a Drake D, it didn't do anything for me. It's so interesting how like unmoved we are when men's bodies get exposed and how just obsessed we are when a woman's tick comes out. Christina, this is where I was getting at because (laughs) I feel the same. I am so just like not registering it. Like, I'm not like, really? I feel yeah. like back in the day when it was like, oh my God, there's a sex tape. Oh my God, someone's nudes leaked. We yeah. were like, oh, what? Yeah. And then when we see it, we're like, okay. Mm. I just feel like we see, I'll get on like Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it now. And I'll just like see straight up yeah. porn in the timeline. Oh, yeah. sure. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Like, I'll get on um, Instagram or whatever. And they're like, watch this alligator eat this dog. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, want to yeah, see yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, oh my ever. God. Or like, watch this sick dog. dog. Mm. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Like everything's just so just. Terrible. But it made me think of past um, D footage. Okay. And I'm trying to remember like the best of the best. Mm-hmm. Like 
Um, Justin Bieber, I think oh, his was, was his released. Yeah, huh. I've seen it, but I don't remember it. Like, yeah, none of these are what? memorable. <laughs> none of these are memorable type. to me. Yeah, Chris Evans. Okay, oh. do you remember Chris Evans? No. no, but that hot was a hot guy from Grey's Anatomy. Um, somebody leaked a photo of his live show, his Broadway show, where he got completely oh, naked. Uh, uh, take he's me so, out. Yeah, he's yes. so hot. That dick. I was excited to see that one. <laughs> Yeah, you could take me out. While you're at it, take my back out. Too. Yeah, and with that third leg you got over yeah. there. Woo-wee. Which is kind of... Kick me, daddy. There has to be a level of just, no pun intended, balls. You have to be ballsy enough. To, you're at a Broadway show yeah. where there's full frontal nudity and you're like... Shh, yeah. yeah, you're flash because it only goes Linda, off. phone's down. <laughs> yeah. You know. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, and like, and and leaked it. By the way, I hate the term leaked nude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. it oh. makes me think of like a leaky genital. Yeah, of just course. a leaked nude. Ugh. Sick. Mm, but um, I'm trying nude. to remember. So Chris Evans, his was actually like on a, on a camera roll, which was accidentally leaked. But then everybody was like, oh my God, get it, King. It's beautiful. You're hot. And then the internet kind of saved it to like put the... Emoji, you know, like cover it up. Yeah. Because he's like America's like Captain yeah. Planet. Not he's Captain America's Planet. Sweetheart. Captain America. Yeah. yeah. God, I wish he was Captain Planet. Mm. Um I love that we're just like Googling leaked meat. <laughs> Is that where you type? Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a website called leakedmeat.com. I have not seen any of the celebrity sex tapes. I'm so disappointed in myself. But I mean, like, which ones? Like, I've never seen one the Kim Kardashian one. That was Boring. stupid. I want to see. Oh, really? I think so. I one she's Night like in a Paris really is terrifying. If you, it's like the Blair Witch Project because she has like glowing eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it was like night vision. Oh, wow. So what? yeah, she's just like, <laughs> she looks like, yeah. <laughs> She looks like <laughs> she like looks like one of those Sigourney rakes. Weave, yeah, yeah one of those rakes in the woods. Just <laughs> like that's Paris Hilton. God. Just really skinny, slender, glowing eyes. Oh my god! If you don't know what a rake Pointinis. is, Google it. You're welcome. Ew. Um, but uh, I feel like I'm trying to think like what celebrity, what male celebrity nude? Because I feel like males, it's time. Yeah, I want to see more. I want to see I yeah. loved Saltburn. Saltburn was great. So much dick in that. It was yeah. It was Euphoria. Oh I love Euphoria. Yeah. That, oh. that locker scene. Hits and dick. Yeah. But this is what bugs me, though, because it's like when you see one, you're like, oh, okay. But then people are like, was that a prosthetic? Oh. Uh, well, and they're always soft a lot of times. Yeah, that's fine, though. That's, that's fine. That's kind of women, though, because, like, anytime you see tits, they're like, does so-and-so have real tits? Is that her real nose? Is that her real tits? So it's, like, ki- kind of the same thing for women. It's yeah. It's not a prosthetic. Yeah. But... I always want to mm. see what, like, a prosthetic is. So, yeah, so we have, like, Orlando Bloom had a... Um, oh, he's gorgeous. Had a... Uh, I, I'm trying to remember what Orlando Bloom's was. I think it was he was, like, on some kayak with Katy Perry. Naked? Yeah. Aw, yeah. that's cute. And then Brad Pitt, that was not uh, intentional. He was, like, on the hotel balcony. <gasps> Do you remember that But one? his dick was out? Yeah. That was intentional. I think he was, like, with... Was he with Gwyneth at the time? Yeah, he was with oh, Gwyneth Paltrow God. at the time. Oh, my God. Wait, can you bring yeah. that up? Yeah, pull it up. <laughs> I didn't know that. If it's consensual... Pull it up. Yeah, no, we want to see all these. We, we're giving the out. okay. <laughs> Keep bringing them. Yeah. I need to see these. I feel like I'm out Rock of the out loop. With your cock yeah. out, I'm not even an informed voter anymore. I know. I didn't know Brad Pitt. I know. Now we're just available. talking about it. We can pull the visuals up. Yeah, why, why, why? Guys, why don't we have the also, internet if we're not using video. it to help ourselves? I know. I'm sure you can Look find it all on leakedmeat.com. <laughs> Leaked me. Hi, Just Sayers. Are you looking for leaked meat? Penis. Well, <laughs> use promo code Just Saying to get fifteen percent off your leaked meats. <laughs> Ew. So, so yeah. So oh yeah. Playgirl. It was yeah. Playgirl. Mm. Uh, Playgirl was such a moment. It's not gonna be on IMDb. Stop wasting our time. Stop I messing around. Yeah, it's a booth. Don't, don't go to Google, go to Google Images. Google Come images. on. Are you serious about this or How not? How are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like dumb. the internet has like. Yeah, gay blog, gay with the gay blog, gay blog. That's where we want to go. Mm. Gay it's blog, always gay blog, gay blog, gay blog. Gay blog. Gay, oh, look at that fucking body. Now we're cooking. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Why was that one oh. covered up? <laughs> gay men. Oh. oh. All right, we're getting. Where's I love the, the dick? V. We're getting I so close. We're, we're getting, getting the so v. close. There oh, it is. oh, that's not as big as I thought. Damn it. <laughs> is that? That's tiny. That's, not fully that's erect, like a statue at the Met. No, that's his penis. But is it? No, it's not fully erect. That's just walking. That's flaccid. Oh wait, oh that's like completely flaccid. Yeah, that, okay, that's actually not bad. That's, that's yeah, actually not that's bad. Brad's it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, doesn't even matter. He, it's he, he okay. Could, he, could, he could have a. It could be a fucking corn on the cob for a dick. It doesn't even have to be a dick, and I would his have sex with it. His body looks fantastic. 
Yes, yeah, this, this he is, is fight so club. hot. Oh, oh that's I the hottest fight Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Yeah. I also like Interview Delma with Vampire. But... Oh, yeah. Oh, I love just like a period piece oh, Brad Pitt. Tom, I love his dick online. No. I used to have such a crush on him. Scientology stopped that. I know. I don't think. But um, that. yeah. And then um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, Justin Bieber's, he was like on vacation. A lot of like like vacation. This yeah. is why I can never do nude beaches. Yeah. yeah, my boyfriend wants me to go to like San Diego. He's like, like loves being naked. He's like, come on, babe, and I'm like, yeah. I, I can't. I'm talent. <laughs> Because I'm the like, pops will get me. I know. I don't like. No, I went to a. I went to a nude <laughs> beach in Greece with my friends, and my friends Ooh. were all just like, like yeah. full naked. I'm just kind of like. Well, you do have to be kind of safe because even if one person recognizes you naked, it's gonna. It's really uncomfortable. I got recognized at a sex party, and I was like, Ugh, yeah. You went to a sex party? Yeah, I love sex parties. Where? Where? Guys, we fuck girls. You gotta go to sex parties. I mean, and sex clubs. Come on. Well, but just I like sex parties. Yeah. I like sex. Do you wear a mask and like wear a cape? No, so I'm gonna wear a mask next time. Good. I didn't think of the mask thing, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Some girl just totally saw me blowing my boyfriend. I'm like, I don't want her to see that. But did but did you anyone else wear a mask? Like, Hey guys! <laughs> no one else wore a mask, but I don't care. I don't want them to know who oh, I am. I would but then you... I got intel though that there was a sex club. the The guy that we, the sex club that yes. I went to, yes. he opened another location in Brooklyn, and he's like, "That's for famous people." So if you want me to let, I'll let you know. Like, and he told me some of the celebrities that were there, and I was like, "You tell me immediately when you have a party there." Yeah, I was like, "Now I'm gonna show I up, will fly in." What in the eyes wide shut hell is yes, happening? Yeah. Remove your cloak. Like that's yeah. I'm all about that. Uh -huh. Is there a bell? Is there like marble so. statues? Oh, you gotta be nude. You gotta you gotta put your clothes in a locker. Yeah. Wow. Force yeah. nudity. Well, you can walk around in your bra and underwear. So not the ones I went to. It was real. You, they give you a robe or it was nothing. Oh, or yeah. nothing. Toronto, you had to do a towel or completely naked. Yeah. But this one in New York, <laughs> um, you had you you could wear like bra and underwear. Oh, yeah. That, they didn't and it's guys, girls, whatever happens. A gay, straight, all of it. Yeah. Safe words. Yeah, yeah. But like hot about it, you know? Not like, guys, not consensual. It's like, ugh, all right, you're fucking killing the vibe here. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, no, just be cool. And everyone's That cool. would be if I hosted a sex party. It's like, guys... <laughs> Can you if someone touches you without your consent, <laughs> you have to raise your hand, put your flashlight on, point it at your face. I'll come over. I'll talk to the guy. I'll throw about you. Can keep having a good time. Yeah, no, it's cool. They have, they just have it where you have to be just to be in a corner and yell help. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is there an interview process? Um, you get vetted to get accepted. Yeah, you have to Ugh. submit your photo. You can't yeah. be ugly. Yeah, you, you. It's for hot people only. Oh. Which is fuck uh, Raya. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seriously, yeah. Fu God, fuck Raya. You, indeed, you guys are doing it right. I guess just get right to it. Yeah, yeah. you guys are heading back. Yes. Um, have you guys witnessed anything crazy on planes? Because I feel like every day. There is a news story where something is just unleashed on a plane. <sighs> yeah. I Bad said, behavior. Right. Demonic I, possession. Oof. I've not witnessed. The only, the worst thing I've ever experienced on a plane was just this guy in front of me farting so bad that you're mm. like, is that a sandwich or is that the worst fart I've ever smelled? Yeah. And then when you realize it's a fart, you want to vomit. Yeah. The whole plane ride. Well, this was guy farting. was probably on your flight because this passenger was kicked oh, off shit. of, <laughs> of WestJet flight for excessive bathroom use after a trip to Mexico. Well, excessive bathroom excessive use? Excessive bathroom so use. Funny. Which I'm not sure I mean, what Mexico, that means. He must have been shitting like mm -hmm. really bad. Or doing coke. Or? or no, if you're vaping, they there's, there's smoke detectors to detect or the vape. I saw a guy get arrested. I was going to say like putting back like balloons of coke up his butt oh, for okay. trafficking. Oh. Okay. I don't know but why. He I would wait to do that while already on the airport. He wouldn't do that. I don't know. Before I feel like everyone's process airport. might be different. That's true. You That's know true. What I mean? That's true. Like, so this woman, it's a woman, was aboard a West uh, jet flight, said she was kicked off the aircraft oh, for excessively using the bathroom before takeoff. So after describing the incident on X, users are split on whether the airline's actions were justified. They shared the moment, uh, they shared the statement with people that if a passenger oh. is sick, the airline has a right to remove them in order to preserve oh. the health and safety of fellow passengers. So... I don't know. Oh, so she had a quote upset stomach. So she says, just got kicked off a WestJet flight from Mexico because I have an upset stomach and was going to the washroom too much before takeoff. No promise of a hotel or That's rebooked fucked. flight. That's fucked. I had meds and was on the men. Some customer service, she wrote. <laughs> Some customer service. Joanna Chu. Hmm. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not buying this one 
bit. Burst into tears all because well, they refused. What was her condition? She just said she had an upset stomach. So she was just shitting on a plane and people were like, ew. Well, also, yeah, yeah she I was going to say. That's, she drank the water. Yeah. That's your fault, she, Joanna. Yeah, but sometimes you know the better. ice melts and you're like, oh, fuck, this also counts as yeah. water. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You know better. Chew no better. <laughs> It is sad you don't that I wasn't drink like the help. water in Mexico. So I'm sorry if you got Montezuma's revenge like a fucking amateur, but <laughs> that's on you. And if the plane kicks you off because of excessive bathroom use, don't get on X and be like, no, oh, they didn't even get my flat rebooked or anything. No, because they don't want your ass juice. It's uncomfortable. Also, I would too. Just, I would just, I would just delay my flight one exactly. day and, and, and poop in the hotel. Yeah. Go in the hotel room. Why do you yeah. have to? She also it, clearly wasn't in an upper class of the airplane because they treat you like you're, you can't do any wrong. This so. would never happen to Sharon Stone. No, yeah. if Alan Cumming used the bathroom eight times before we took yeah, off, they wouldn't be care. Fine. Absolutely. They, they and care. also, I think. <sighs> they treat, they treat anybody who's not in first class like trash. They really do. Well, does I, WestJet even have? I don't even know what the hell WestJet is. I, mean, I, think that's <laughs> one, I think that's one where it's like, like kind of from like the 80s. old timey. We're yeah. all the same class yeah. here. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> yeah. we're not. That's a lie. Uh, yeah. Their slogan is, uh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Like get on Whoa, board. Maybe Ew. we'll make it. <laughs> yeah. And now Ew. this one you have to worry about because this one airline was reported that maggots oh. were reportedly falling onto passengers from an overhead bin on a Delta flight. Rotting fish was found on the carrier. Ew. That's like a bad breakup. Something happened. Someone put. Oh, a that's lot. hilarious. Yeah, this is that's so something I would do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I would you think do it was that. like a bad, yeah, like, like a prank. Fuck this guy. I'm yeah. putting the fucking rotting fish in his carry. Someone on. put rotting fish in someone else's <gasps> carry. That's on. That's brilliant. Weird. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Also, brilliant. I'm sick and tired of seeing this um, posted on X. Parentheses, formerly Twitter. Yeah. Can we, we know? Just, can just, we, can just, we just keep calling it Twitter? Just something. Now, the story of this is uh, let's read a little bit more. So, this was this flight was on its way to Detroit from Amsterdam when maggots started falling from the overhead bin. The insects were coming from a passenger's carry on bag that reportedly <gasps> contained rotten fish. A Delta Airlines spokesperson confirmed the aircraft had to turn back to Amsterdam Airport. Uh, Sheeful, I, sure. I would shame the shit Sheeful. out of that passenger. And passengers were rebooked for the next available flight. You know who wasn't rebooked? Joanna Chu. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> for, her for, upset for her rotting asshole. Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the passengers, um, so they got booked, so rebooked. Really lovely to be two hours into an eight-hour flight oh. on Amsterdam and find out there's rotten fish and maggots hitching a ride with us. One passenger said on X, parentheses, formerly Twitter. <laughs> In response to her post, another user questioned how someone could make it onto a plane without the contents of the bag being detected by airport security. I agree. Yeah. Fish has bones. Why didn't they see the fish? If you saw, like, that's like a yeah. cartoon. Right. Yeah. You right. see you the literally, skeleton yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, of something. iPad, yeah. socks, fish skeleton. Fish skeleton. <laughs> so I, I actually, I, I kind of agree with you. But yeah, this doesn't that just was happen. Prank. You don't just have rotting fish. Like, no. Because even if you tried to bring fish on, it wouldn't rot in this time also, period. Also, internationally, you can't bring food. Yeah. Like you're not supposed to bring any food or any plants or any anything because it could like fuck up the ecosystem. Unless you or got whatever. it in the airport. But yeah. Right, right, so right. is this like TSA's fault? Maybe. I think so too. Maybe. Um, and the guy, I mean, who I want to shame the person who brought it on the flight. I mean, if it was not a prank. But also Amsterdam is pretty like they're, they're probably that? way more relaxed. You know, what's Amsterdam TSA like? Yeah, they well, all from shrooms. Detroit. But I, they, oh, right. They, so they were leaving Detroit to Amsterdam. They went, yeah. oh, I was reading as they okay. were going from Amsterdam no, to Detroit. Detroit to Amsterdam. That shouldn't even be a flight that's allowed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't go to New York first. And I think that's the experience. It, yeah. It shouldn't yeah. be allowed. Maggots, yeah. Like, like, yeah. But it's like, that was I, God I guess saying. maggots on a plane is the new snakes on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if you liked, you know, hopefully it wasn't a gay couple on that seat because yeah. if you liked Elf on a Shelf, you'll love yeah. maggots on. <laughs> My asshole. 
<laughs> I also don't, I, I, like, I, they always love to turn it around, but you're already two hours in, just go the other, the extra six hours. The turning around for me, that would it's magnets, me maggots, just it's not land. hyenas. I don't like, even care, yeah. Tra- crash into the ocean, <laughs> I don't care. Well, also the maggots are gonna eat the fish, right? Yeah. So maybe you're by the end of the flight, you're getting a circle of life yeah. experience <laughs> on WestJet. Yeah, Nature is perfect. It's mm-hmm. like, how many were they? Like, you know, put them in a, like, suffocate them in a plastic, like it's not, it can't be right, that Right, true, many. if you put the fish in a plastic bag with the maggots, yeah. In it, you're going to completely vacuum the smell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that, ladies, is the Garden of Time. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> Full circle. Cut to JLo just wearing maggots at the Met Gala, just like that would oh, be I'm real. I would I would like that. I'm real. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies, thank you so much for being here. This was so much fun. I thank hope you guys you. had fun. I had a lot of fun. Um, please tell everybody, all our listeners, where they can follow you, all that stuff. Plug your podcast of dates, whatever you got going on. Yeah, you can listen to us on Guys We Fuck the Anti Slut Shaming Podcast. It's available everywhere, including full video on YouTube. I'm on all social media, including X, formerly known as Twitter, oh. as, <laughs> at Philanthropy Gal. I'm at Christina Hutch. And we will see you next time on the Just Saying Podcast. Keep it classy. What? Keep it classy? Don't keep it classy. <laughs> Let the maggots eat. We'll see you next time. <laughs> 